I'll show them you want to show. Okay, <laughs> we've got the toe injected, and it's numb, and we're going to be removing this side of the nail and cauterizing the root so the nail doesn't come back. This is a little thing called a tourniquet, and it's just a tight band because when we put the chemical in there to cauterize the root, we cannot have any bleeding or very, very little bleeding. Okay, so next thing we do is we just free up the nail from the skin. And he's going to feel very little, if anything, here, probably nothing. This is what would really hurt if it wasn't numb. So once we're past this point, you wouldn't feel it even if it wasn't numb. You okay? Doing good. Now for a partial nail removal, we're actually going to take more than we would on a lot of people because it's so far ingrown. You have to kind of look at the tip of the toe and I can tell that if we just took this little bit, it wouldn't be enough but it's nowhere near half of it. It's about maybe a fourth at the most. So all we're doing is cutting the nail straight back all the way to the root. And then we're going to take that side just to make sure we have all any little pieces that might be there. Now if we were to let it go and bandage it up now, this would heal up very quickly, but the nail would come back. We don't want that to happen. I'm just going to kind of file the edge of it a little bit. If this were not for the tourniquet, we would have a lot of bleeding right now. It would be a lot of bleeding. But with that tourniquet, we're getting just about nothing. And sometimes it's necessary to remove a little bit of this dead skin and so what's called proud flesh. There's some tissue here. We don't have to really take too much, but most of this will go down on its own once that nail is healed. Okay, first application. I like to do this five times for 20 seconds each. Start now, number one. Okay? Yeah, you should just be able to feel me pushing, right? This is what's killing the root to prevent the nail from coming back. Again, we'll get little bits of dead skin that come off. And every now and then we'll cure at this area just to make sure that nothing is back there blocking the root because we want the chemical to go right on it. Okay, this is the second time. The same thing again. Start now, 20 seconds. Now I'm going to dry it out again a little bit. Okay, third application. Let's start now. This may not look like a big piece of nail, but it's where the nail was. It was down in that groove. 
and I actually didn't have to take as much as I thought. I've seen some that a lot more nail has to be taken off than this, but okay, that's three. Phenol, the chemical we're using, turns this tissue black. So that's why there's a kind of a black color to it. That usually will be gone once we get done and, and uh, neutralize it. Number four, start now. a little bit here. Okay, this will be our last one. Number five. Start now, 20 seconds. Almost done. Doing good. Okay. Now, just going to see if there's any little loose pieces of tissue here to remove, and then we're going to clean it up. one doesn't have a needle. Okay, there's no needle in this syringe. This is just to wash out the chemical we put in there, stop it from burning. And some of that black color will go away when we do this. There's a lady on the phone who wants to change her appointment. She's a Now we're ready to bandage it up. We do one more thing here. This little edge just I don't like that one little sharp point. Okay, so now we put on whatever you like as far as antibiotics. Typically use some beta dye. And then the Selvadine. I'm going to take that little tourniquet off before I. Okay. Now this can be cut off or you can just roll it off. See the color comes back almost immediately. He's got good circulation. Not everybody is that fast. And if we didn't bandage this up, there'd be a good bit of bleeding right now. So we're going to bandage it tightly. Tomorrow morning, he can take the bandages off. And then there's two options to take care of it. I don't know if anybody talked to you about how to take care of it afterwards. She's going to do soaks. Okay. If you do soaks, again, start tomorrow. Any time in the morning, you don't have to wait exactly 24 hours, okay. just overnight. Remove all the bandages, soak it, it'll tell you how much to use. It's not real strict that you have to use exactly that amount. Epsom salt won't hurt it. Worst it'll happen if you put too much in, it's going to kind of sting a little bit. Okay, she's going to bandage that a little tighter. And then just cover it with a Band-Aid. Band-Aid's actually the most important part of it, mm -hmm. because if you don't use a Band-Aid, it's going to dry out and then it won't drain the way it's supposed to. 
and you should get drainage for about four weeks, three to four weeks. We'll check it in about two weeks. Again, finish the antibiotic. Pain pill only if he needs it, and a half of one. And an average person takes them like tonight, maybe tomorrow. After that, he probably won't need much. Okay. And you can do a leave or Advil or Tylenol. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Give us a call, and she'll cover that with another bandage to make it all a little more compact. Did really well. I know the shot is scary when you get after that. It's easy. All right. We'll see you in a couple weeks. I think all these papers are up there too.